Hi, this is Urs Gaudens from Gaudi Labs. In this video I want to give you an update on the OpenDrop digital microfluidics platform. I especially want to talk about the new uh, feedback feature. The OpenDrop version 2 has 120 electrodes, is driven by Arduino Micro, has an OLED display, integrated high voltage supply and now the working feedback amplifier. The setup that I use in this video is a foil ETFE 12 micrometer coated with a fluor polymer that I spin coat 20 seconds at about 4000 RPM, then cured 120 degrees. Um, the ITO glass is also coated with the same material and the gap for the liquid is about 0.2 millimeters, which um, gives a droplet volume of 1 to 2 microliters and I just use uh, water and ink. With this setup we get quite good and consistent results and a nice droplet movement. The video that you see now with the green droplet movement is open loop which means the electrodes are just switched in a certain uh, time pattern. The droplets are controlled with a joystick. It can happen if an electrode is not uh, functioning well like now that the droplet gets stuck. That's why we need the feedback drive that I will demonstrate in this video. The OpenDrop version 2 has an amplifier circuit um, actually by Wheeler Lab from the DropBot that um, with the new library can read all the 120 electrodes in less than 20 milliseconds. Which means I get a signal from each electrode if there is a droplet um, present or not. Now the droplets are driven with feedback which means the OpenDrop electronics can control the movement of each droplet and as you see when one droplet gets stuck, the other will wait until it finished to reach its position. The faster droplet waits for the slower droplets to reach its position. The feedback reading and the active electrode is also represented on the display. The driving of each droplet is also done by feedback, which means that only when the droplet reaches its position, the new electrode is activated. This means the drive of the electrode is asynchronous. As I turn up the voltage with the screwdriver, as you can see on the top left, the speed of the droplet is increasing. Also implemented is an outer routing. I set the goal, press the button and the droplet will go to the position. The outer routing will also avoid other droplets or could even avoid defective electrodes, as you can see here. With the joystick I set a new goal, hit go and the droplet will go there. Avoiding other obstacles. Generally, the feedback drive increases the reliability and allows for quite complicated movement. The implementation is on prototype level and is for the purpose of demonstrating what is possible with the system. I hope you enjoy and thanks for watching.